There are many hallmarks of ZB, many aspects of ZB. And one aspect is we are very much uh, aware of the new sciences, of quantum physics as an example. And in quantum physics, the teaching, one of the teaching is that the fundamental building blocks of nature are the particle and the wave. These are the fundamental building blocks, energy and structure. And Einstein says, you know, energy equals mc squared. He's seen this relationship between energy and matter, between vibration and structure. And in ZB, when I first began to work with energy, I used to think that energy existed uh, in the meridian system of acupuncture. That's where energy was moving, and it is. It's moving through there. But then I came to realize that there's a deeper level of energy in the body, and it's the underpinnings of the meridians, underpinnings of structure. So I'm particularly fascinated with the relationship between vibration and matter. And in teaching ZB, we speak of the sailboat. We have the sailboat, you have the the sail, which is the structure, you have the wind, which is the energy, the energy meets the structure, and it drives the sailboat. In your body, somewhere, the energy flowing through you meets your structure. And this particular interface of energy meeting structure is fundamental to health. How well is a person tacked into their energy body? How well are they coordinated? How well are they relating to themselves? And some people, life looks easy. The next person, life looks like a constant struggle. Well, the differences are many, but one of them is one person's tacked into their energy flow and the other person is less well tacked in. And our goal in ZB is to help tack you into, help to bring you into relationship between energy and structure. And so we look at the underpinnings of quantum physics, energy and structure. How are these related? Can we improve this relationship? And if we can, then ZB can be a real service to you.